All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is just gonna be a quick update before I head off to work. I just wanted to get, show you where I'm at on the landing gear, and I'll give you a quick look at the fuselage before it uh, actually gets its, the interior painted. All right, I have just finished drilling these four holes in the main gear. And this is something I've been dreading doing for a while just because you know, if you screw this up, it's going to be expensive to replace that gear. I, did, I haven't measured this. It looks to me like this is probably an inch or an inch and an eighth, maybe. It's really thick aluminum, uh, and you have to match drill the holes from this spacer through here. You can see I've done these four here, and I just put some random bolts in there just to, uh, you know, just to keep it aligned. Um, so that's done, and then now I will do the same thing over on that side. All right, there's really nothing too tricky about this. I'm doing this exactly like the, uh, the Zenith manual says or shows. And they give you these two spacers. So I put one here and I'm gonna position this one here just to give it, to make sure it's not crooked like this or it's not down too far or up too high. This one here is just used to align it. And uh, once I have it aligned to where I want it, I will use these uh, clamps to clamp it in place. All right, so now that's holding it in place. And then what I do is after I drill the first hole, I put a bolt all the way through there just so it doesn't move. In fact, for each hole that I drill, uh, I, I insert a, a bolt. So that by the time I'm drilling this fourth hole down here, I'll have three bolts in here uh, with the clamp holding it in place. All right, I did the other side with a brand new drill bit bit. Now I've just put a brand new drill bit in here and I'll drill these four holes with a new bit. And one of the things I'm really trying to be careful is when I put this in here, of course I'm using the holes in this block for a guide, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm not holding the drill at an angle like that. And that's one of the reasons why I really wish these holes were drilled at the factory. Um, whoever makes this gear, I'm guessing it's probably Grove gear. Um, they know what axles are going on, and I don't, I don't know why they don't drill this at the factory, but um, it's just something that I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to, you know, oblong the holes in this aluminum spacer by holding the drill bit crooked like that. So I try to, I kind of hold the drill bit loosely and put it in and let this hole line up the drill bit, and then I try my best not to move the drill bit while I'm drilling. So here we go. Hole number one on this side. And I've noticed for me anyway, that when I drill these holes, after you, you go in about an eighth of an inch or so, I have to take the drill bit out to remove the shavings. Um, I know the shavings should just follow the drill bit up, but it seems to work better when I take it out, empty the hole, and then uh, start drilling again. I'm no machinist. I'm not telling you how to drill a hole. This is just what I've noticed for me. first hole is drilled and like I said I'll insert a bolt there just to help hold it with the clamp. One other thing I do after I drill each hole is I vacuum up all of the chips on the floor just because I don't like stepping in it and getting it in my shoes and tracking it everywhere so I try to keep it as clean as I can. So I'll vacuum this up and then on to the second hole. But one more thing I want to show you with this gear is I'm debating on whether I should polish it, paint it green, or have it powder coated that semi-gloss black. Now, if I was doing an actual like warbird kind of theme, I would paint it green. 
but I've already decided I'm going to, to use, I'm going with my military green paint scheme, but it's going to be a glossy green. So basically what I'm doing is you could picture it as like, you know, every squadron has that one airplane they take and they, they really doll it up, they put some tail art on it, and that's kind of like their show plane. Usually it's the commander's bird. <laughs> so that's what you could think of as this one. It's gonna be the, the squadron's pretty airplane. Um, but one of the things I wanted to show you with this gear is you'll notice if it, if it shows in the, the screen, look at all the ridges that are along here, and especially on here. Can you see in the light there all these ridges or machining marks that are on the gear? It's on the entire edge. And what I've done over on this side is just from like here down to here, I've sanded and polished that corner. Um, and I didn't do an, an awesome job. I just, I started with 150 grit sandpaper, then went to 320, 400, 1200, and 2000. And then of course I shined it with the trusty old flits. <laughs> but you can see all those little ridges are gone. It does look a lot better. Now the ridges in the flat part here are a lot deeper. I'm not, I might have to get a sanding block or something to get those out. But uh, either way, you know, even if you powder coat this or paint it, you're still gonna see all these ridges in here. Um, and I'd like to get rid of them. You can see all the ridges right here on that corner. That's how this was here. And you can, I know my camera isn't doing a good job of focusing, but you can see there's still, there's still a few up here. I didn't get all the way up to there, but you can see all those ridges are gone. It's just perfectly smooth now um, on that corner. So anyway, I'll probably either, no matter what I do with the gear, I'll probably sand it and, and smooth it all out just so all of these ridges don't show through the paint or the powder coating or certainly if I just polish it like I did on my cruiser. But anyway, I was just playing around a little bit with that. The gear is done, uh, basically ready to put the wheels on and put it on the airplane. These wheels here, I haven't quite figured out this uh, voodoo magic yet. There's a, um, there's a hole you can see right here where this little rubber thing has to, to get pushed through here. It's the, the air valve. And I just have no idea how to get it in there. I know they say to use soapy water and, and you can push it in, but <laughs> I've been fighting with this for a couple hours yesterday. So once I figure out how to get that in, I can build this wheel, get that done. You can see I have the nose fork all drilled. This is ready to send off the powder coating. And I can give you guys an update on my fuselage. You can see that I do have it masked off and ready for primer and paint. I used uh, some pieces of cardboard here for the, the big opening in the back there where the jump seat would be. Everything's scuffed, primed, cleaned, and ready to go. I'll be spraying this with uh, epoxy primer and then probably the super flight uh, olive drab paint on top of that. I kind of want the inside green to match the outside and I think it's gonna go really good against the brown leather seats. So I think it's gonna look fantastic once it's done. Once that's painted, it's, uh, I can put the, uh, bolt the, steer, the steel gear brackets on there, put the gear on, I actually have to paint some of the parts, the, all the aluminum parts that go on the fusil, or the, uh, the firewall. But once I get those painted and kind of finish up that firewall, then I can put the nose gear on and then the big bad super duty will be on the landing gear. And I think actually what I'm gonna do after that is once I get this onto gear, I think I'm gonna come back here and mount the horizontal stabilizer and then, uh, you know, there's a, there's a big dorsal fin that goes up here. And then I wanna see what kind of fiberglass fairings I can make for the back there. Once I get that done, I don't see any reason why I can't paint the exterior of the airplane. So lots of good things coming for the Super Duty. Now, speaking of landing gear, I do have my two big balloon tires built and ready to go. So they're ready to bolt onto the axles as soon as uh, the inside's painted. All right guys, thanks for watching a quick update. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, I'm thinking by the end of this month, 
I hope this airplane will be sitting on its gear.